Hey kids, for a few months I've been seeing several new video based motion capture products hit the market and since I don't do press release videos on software that I haven't tried, I haven't really bothered to mention them on my channel. Uh, I first tried video motion capture way back with iPie Studio and it wasn't great. You needed the white dots as tracking markers and for full body you needed multiple cameras and at the time a suite of specialized cameras was going to cost me about ten thousand dollars and i was considering it because at that time i was renting a large studio for my rehearsals and video shoots so i had the room for full body motion capture video from multiple camera angles now eventually i did not do that and a big part of the reason I decided against it was the hidden expense of the large capture studio I needed. It almost didn't matter that that cute little camera system cost a ridiculous $10,000 because it was dwarfed by the ongoing monthly rental of that rehearsal space. In New York City, you can imagine that expense was considerable. Just to be clear, I would have wall mounted those cameras so I wouldn't need to completely recalibrate the them every time I did a capture session. I really did plan it out and price everything. Well, life happened. I move away from live performers and dance theater and blue screen video shoots. So that big rehearsal shooting space became a white elephant that I just wasn't using. Renting it out to other people to offset the expense became a whole management job into itself. So in short, there were real world issues to multi-camera motion capture that had nothing to do with the software or the expense of buying a set of synchronized cameras. We'll flash forward to today and there are a lot of markerless video to motion capture apps. Some are online at various fees per minute of video uploaded and these services can get expensive once you're trying to capture an entire real world animation project. And the results are still mm, not perfect, but to be honest, all motion capture is going to require cleanup. Rococo, which is the inertial motion capture suit that I eventually purchased, even they came out with a free video to motion capture system in the fall that works inside Rococo Studio. Now, this is great news because Rococo Studio has the tools to help you clean up janky mocap. And Studio is free to download, and the video capture is also free, as far as I understand. So that's a pretty sophisticated tool for video motion capture, and all free. Not as good as their inertial smart suit, of course. The big issue is that video is 2D, and you need some moderately sophisticated AI to work out the body positions in 3D space. Which can't beat that price. <laughs> now, if you're a developer, Apple's AR kit does full body motion tracking without markers and that has gotten incrementally better over the years as AR kit has been upgraded. I assume Android's AR core does the same thing, more or less at the same quality, but without a depth sensor. And of course the Kinect is the granddaddy for budget camera and depth sensor mocap. But even with a depth sensor, the limbs often get tangled up and it's a little too processor intensive to handle smooth, accurate mocap from only the one iPhone camera. And usually your feet are not even in view, so that's going to be a problem. You're not actually capturing full body. Full body markerless tracking has been available, I think, since AR kit began, but honestly, I don't see a lot of apps that take advantage of this other than a few experimental AR toys. What I do see, it lags behind the video, it's somewhat less than real time, and it gets the limbs tangled. Now the iPhone's depth sensor fails at around one meter from the camera. It doesn't have the range to capture full body. LiDAR was expected to take over the range of two to five meters, which should be enough to capture full body with depth. But LiDAR has only ever been available in iPhone Pro or whatever they call their top tier products. And LiDAR was picked up by Samsung, but quickly dropped because buyers didn't really get it. 
Anyway, no LiDAR-based motion capture apps emerged, as far as I know. Apple tried to push some fitness suites, but there's no consumer interest to make the LiDAR option cheaper and more broadly available. Now, recently, a product called Move AI came across my radar, and they're kind of combining the best of both worlds. They've got video-based motion capture with synchronized iPhones. The advantage is the software communicates across the multiple phones, and this makes calibrating the various input video sources a lot easier, if not completely automatic. I followed the Move AI product for a while. Obviously, the expense is going to not just be multiple cameras, but multiple iPhones. So that price shoots up. Not a lot of people are going to have multiple recent model iPhones, except it's conceivable they might have some friends, and they also have iPhones, so maybe, maybe there's an opportunity where you and your friends can do this with the phones you already own. You'd be getting this idea of multiple camera motion capture on devices you maybe already have, and tripod mounts for your iPhone are more or less ubiquitous. I'm sure this could be done for a lot less money than $10,000. So that isn't an improvement a decade later. But I watched these videos from Move AI, and I just have flashbacks to that big white elephant of a rehearsal space. <laughs> these are details that they don't talk about in these promo videos. Where are they renting these big spaces? I see a lot of academic, probably it's a college or university setting where big empty rooms are just available right down the hall and some student dancers come along and improvise some nonsense choreography, limb gibberish. It looks super cool, like a lot of fun until you have to coordinate multiple people and a space. And don't forget, since everything is camera based, you need more than line of sight, you need lighting. You need tripods, you need a large area to move, and you still need more than that to have multiple cameras shooting full body from multiple angles. That's a big room. Or you're outdoors. Automatic calibration sounds great, wonderful, but trust me, there's so much more to it. Video-based motion capture seems like a great cheap solution, but strangely, it is not very practical. Now, compared to the inertial smart suit from Rococo and the other brands in this niche are Perception Neuron, and at the high end is, if you have to ask, you can't afford, Xsense. The benefits to inertial motion capture is I can do it here in my apartment. I don't need line of sight to camera. I don't need a big room. I don't need lighting. I can do motion capture just sitting at my desk. Rococo suits are not cheap. And I actually got an email this month telling me their prices are going up. I think that happens in February. Inertial mocap has its own unique issues like drift and magnetic interference. But overall, it's a much more convenient solution, I found, than markerless video. It doesn't seem like it would be, but it is. And the inertial data is actually pretty easy to stream. It more or less matches how a 3D figure skeleton would already be animated. So I can run Rococo Studio and stream from my smart suit. And it's not really taxing my computer. I can get this data into Unity and iClone in real time. And I'm not taking away from the RAM and GPU resources those programs are already hogging to do their real time renders. Inertia sensors are better than video motion tracking because they don't use up extra processing power to analyze full frame video and translate that into animation. Well, now there's something new. <laughs> I just got news of a new budget priced inertial motion capture product from Sony. Sony. And it's called Mocopy. Mocopy? And it's on pre-order in Japan for around 45,000 yen and estimated to cost roughly, I think, about $360 in the U.S. Price to pitch Mokapi as a VR accessory. And they understand their niche. They're targeting VTubers and VChat and live animated avatars. 
I don't need Mocapi, but you got my attention, Sony. Now, the product has not been released yet, uh, but they've already got a Unity plugin, which, yes, it can be added to a build for a standalone game, and a Motion Builder plugin. Both of these are live streamed from the Mocapi sensors in real time. You set up the sensors through a phone app. I'm not sure that Unity or Motion Builder plugins need it, though. I'm guessing you just use a computer device running those programs to calibrate the sensors when you're using that. Maybe the best part, at least the part I'm impressed by, is that they have an app for iOS and Android, and you can walk around streaming the Mocapi data to an iPhone in your pocket, completely untethered. There's no face capture, but the app will input your voice and do a mouth animation. You can even add your own 3D avatar in VRM format to the Sony app. Live streaming an animated avatar from literally anywhere in your pocket wearing discreet sensors. Well, there's a head strap, so that's maybe not too discreet. But wow. <gasps> Wow. Okay, let's do the specs. You get six sensors, head, wrists, hip, and ankles. That's your typical IK rig, so this is going to be simple to use in Unity. Each sensor looks to be independent, but no information yet on whether you can kind of piecemeal the individual sensors for a custom rig. I'm thinking like set up where two people share one kit and each wearing a head and wrists for instance I, I don't know that that would work but that would be something i would want to try the batteries are expected to last about 10 hours and supposedly recharge fully in an hour and a half so that's a full day on a single charge all six sensors live in a convenient little charging case and it looks like they just snap onto the straps if you don't like straps, I'm sure you could sew them into a little on-suit pocket or something. Now, unlike Rococo's smart suit, Mocapi transmits over Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi. That means you'll have limited range and probably slower than Wi-Fi signals, but no network setup, no IP addresses on your router. If you do the Rococo thing, you know that's the worst part, your Wi-Fi network. Bluetooth mostly works. <laughs> it's certainly the non-tech savvy wireless solution other than turning it off and back on. I'm not sure what users would really need to calibrate so this should be mostly brainless. Now the specs say the frame rate is 50 frames a second. Compare that to the original smart suit at about 100 frames per second and the upgraded smart suit 2 at approximately 200 frames a second. I can already tell you 50 frames a second is not going to be super accurate. Like the promo videos from Sony show a professional dancer just bugging out with the crazy limb wiggling and Sony, I'm not impressed when you show a dancer moving all crazy legs and you just forget to show me the avatar not capturing all that fast crazy leg movement. <laughs> I can read between the frames. Mocapi is not going to be able to capture that kind of detail. As far as I understand it, the app will record the animations along with your voice, and it will export skeletal animations in BVH format. Pretty much universally compatible with most animation programs. Now the phone app will animate at 30 frames a second. That's good enough for live streams and slower than the sensors 50 frames a second. Is it fast enough for games in VR? Typically VR targets, what, around 90 frames a second? So the mocapi data is gonna be a little slower. I predict that you'll see some jitter and stutter in VR. The other reason mocapi is very interesting to me though, is it's gonna transmit directly into Rococo Studio. I already explained that Rococo Studio is free with a lot of tools to clean up your motion capture and Rococo has an unlisted YouTube video showing Mocapi working now already in Rococo Studio. I expect this will be available in fully functioning around the time the product launches at the end of this month, January, 2023. 
Now this little mocap system is really straddling between a toy that you'd buy for your kids. I mean, it's an expensive toy, but it could be the big ticket birthday gift if your kids are really into VR. But also between Rococo and Motion Builder and Unity, Sony is punching a little higher, suggesting that this can also be a budget inertial system. Maybe not even budget so much as simple motion capture. As in, there's not that much that you need to work out to get this working. That would be great. I think this is really smart for Rococo Studio because between the video capture option and this low-cost Sony option, they're supporting a gateway for users who want mocap animations but aren't ready to commit to the full expense of a smart suit. Their unlisted YouTube video suggests that you might add smart gloves and their facial mocap app, which in my opinion is a little too expensive. Uh, personally, I think that's going to be a jump in price. So not sure how many are going to jump on that, but good for them. Good for Rococo. They're really kind of thinking ahead. They're, they're kind of helping everybody out move into the space. What the time to be alive. <laughs> Keep your eyes open for Mokapi from Sony coming, I think, in around January 20th. That's just a week or so. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I am out clothes shopping, as you can see. I'm not really clothes shopping. I'm in my apartment, and I need to be making clothes. This is another longer videos I'm trying to work on, but hopefully I have that finished soon. I just found out the Mokapi and Rococo thing today, so I wanted to get that to you. I hope you have a great time. I hope you keep animating. I hope you are being creative. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're having a good January and a great 2023. I'll be back with more animation news, animation products, and various projects. I'll see you next time. This is Cutscene Artist. I'm Wet Circuit, your host. Give me a like and a subscribe if you want to follow and get more of this kind of information. I'll see you next time. Bye!